All right, Cherokee Tavern is here. We're gonna do some shrimp. Hang on, I lost my mic because the shrimp looks amazing. All right, here we go. Let's talk about voodoo shrimp. Brian Rubenzer is here from Cherokee Tavern. While I get my microphone on, yes. why don't you tell us about the new restaurant that you bought since the last time you were here, by the way. Yes, so uh, about nine days ago, I bought the Cherokee Tavern, and it was the same owners for nearly 50 years, so it's been a institution restaurant in the you know West St. Paul area for quite a long time. Uh, bought it from the Casper family, and they're uh, still running the Egan location. Uh, great people to be, yeah. uh, you know, to buy it from. And then, uh, but basically we're just, we're gonna clean things up a little bit, uh, consolidate the menu and keep a lot of the things the same, the traditional items, but I also I wanna put my thumbprint on some of the items I'm known for, uh, yeah. for the catering company. So but, what's uh, what's on the menu? And, and catering company, by the way, Brie, uh, Brie, Brie Catering, catering yep, you're talking about. Absolutely. Um, uh, tell us what the menu consists so, of. Well, well, today we're doing the Voodoo Shrimp and this is a recipe I developed uh, at a restaurant in Hilton Head Island. Uh, the cool thing is I just contacted the restaurant to see if it's still on the menu. Yep. Uh, 15 years later, it's still selling. <laughs> so it's a great item, it's a successful item. Um, and when I was running that restaurant there, we came up with this blend of spices, which is, you gotta have just the right amount of each thing mm -hmm. to make it uh, mix well together. So basically we got going on here, and I'll let you mix these. And you can do a lot of this ahead of time too, right? You, you can make this spice too. and it can sit for three months if you wanted. Oh, um, perfect. So what we got here is we got the curry. So Curry? Curry, About yep. how much is in there, what do you got? Uh, I did about uh, two ounces of each. Okay. And then we got the uh, granulated garlic. Okay. Boom. And uh, the onion powder. That's this? Yep. Okay. Onion powder, oh, that smells so good. Then we have the cumin. Mm. Oh, that's or that's good. coriander, one of those. I and think that's coriander. And there's, uh, there's, yep, there's the thyme. Yep. And now, now there's the cumin. There's the cumin. Mm, that smells good. And then we have some black pepper. Black pepper. I Wait. like this already. Absolutely, that's uh, some brown sugar. Oh, good. Big, granulated brown big, sugar. Big crystals, too. Yep. We got uh, cayenne pepper. So a little hot, a little salty, a little sweet, a little bit of everything. Yep. And then uh, I'll, I'll talk about that brown sugar in a minute. Okay. okay, salt. Salt. Are you using kosher salt? Kosher salt yeah, for sure. Yeah, the good stuff. And then we got the white pepper. White pepper. Okay, so what I'll do is kind of mix that together really okay. good. And while you're doing that, I'm going to show you how to skewer these shrimp okay. here. Shrimp and bacon, you can't go wrong. You can't go wrong. It's literally amazing. And you keep the tails on. I keep the tails on, absolutely. It's do you a, like to do it uh, uh, just for a grilling kind of thing, or is that just kind of your style? You know, I just like the presentation. I always yeah. keep the tails on when I, even when I do pasta, I just like that presentation of the tail. And actually, mm -hmm. uh, you know, that that, seg that part of the, the shrimp is a different color, so it kind of helps with the, the appeal to it. And it makes it easier to eat, gives you kind of a built-in, like, yeah, like nature's like handle here. Nature's handle, there So we go. got about a minute left okay, here. Okay, so, so what we want to sure do is, uh, so we're gonna make the marinade, so okay. we're gonna add olive oil and lemon juice. Olive oil. Boom, lemon juice. All right, and then right. just, just so stir that, that all mix in. Mix that yep. together really good. Uh oh, I didn't do a very good Here, job. Here, we need some more olive oil. We need more olive oil? Yeah. Can you pop open the grill? Can we, can we, there you go. Let's get some olive oil in there. We're, there not, we're not gonna be scared with the we're olive not, oil. We're not getting shy. There we go. It's good for you, they say, right? Isn't this month olive oh, oil yeah. is good for you? Absolutely, and okay. this is, uh, I like to get a nice coating consistency, like a yeah, nappe consistency. Go. Yep. All right. So now that we got like, that. Oh, that looks good, man. That smells amazing. So we're gonna lather this on here. Okay. Even a little thinner would be fine, but mm -hmm. this is good. We're good, yeah, we're good. So then what I like to do is after I marinate it, mm -hmm. you want both sides. Gotta get them both done. Oh, look at that, that looks amazing. And when you marinate, or when you put it in the refrigerator, it kinda, kinda mends really well. Mm -hmm. And now I'm gonna add to our executive chef, Matt, here to cook. Pop it on the grill. And, and just uh, through one the more. the magic of television. One more thing is. Yeah. We have a new menu coming out, mm -hmm. uh, so hopefully next week or so, and the Voodoo Shrimp is definitely gonna be one of the highlights of that menu uh, that we're putting out. So just trying to get that together, so hopefully soon you can come down and try the Voodoo Shrimp. If you wanna try the Voodoo Shrimp, you can anyway, just ask for me and I'll, I'll make or sure you get Or they have one. them right here. Or we have them we'll right here. We'll try them right now. Absolutely. In fact, we're gonna do that after the break. I'll tell you real quick that Cherokee Tavern is located on uh, Smith Avenue in West St. Paul. We have a link to the recipe and the restaurant as well on care11.com. Come on back, we'll be back in the middle.